Hello everyone, welcome to vlog part two. Tonight, we're doing some dirty work. But what's changed? Nothing. Just dirty work. Oh yeah. We're gonna be cleaning all the parts tonight and getting everything ready. Stay tuned. Here we are with old Johnny here. Getting our five ton carrier all cleaned up. Might as well, right? When everything's apart. So, yep. Got one side of our carrier looking absolutely minty. And I do have to say the bearings, every bearing we've pulled out, fingers crossed, have has been really minty. Don't you think? Uh, yeah. yeah, Johnny's doing some dirty work right now. We got both our side gears cleaned up and that's where we're at right now. This is a lot of work here, but I got all the studs pulled out. I just sprayed some cleaner down in our housing and it's already looking just as good as our other one. We're gonna grind out this surface here and just about both axles are at the same point and uh, we're getting close. So within this build, like I said, I don't have a deadline to build this truck. I want to do it so perfect that I'll have minimum problems. That's my goal. But our buddy Wade uh, has a two and a half ton Ford twin turbo 12 valve. Um, he is over the two and a half tons. Right, Johnny? Oh, yeah. About time. Yeah, about time. No more two and a half tons. Only five tons. So he contacted me and he actually came out and helped us with our hybrid build, which is awesome. And so in return, we're gonna help him do a little axle rehab and do a five ton swap on the truck. So I'm we're back. live minty minty we've got one planetary gear that is stuck in our carrier the planetary pin will just not come out it needs a little bit more reinforcement to get it out of there and me and johnny will tell you here we had one good side and one fucking everything <laughs> and one bad and Johnny was not actually out at John's to take apart the good side. I had my buddy Wade out there. So the whole day he was like, man, this is easy. I said, you should have been here for the other one. But this is the bad side. And you can literally tell, I don't know what happened, but one of them was just not sealed up. And now we have the spindle in here in our cleaning station. And it is... Baby it's, shit. <laughs> Great, now I can't make money off YouTube because you cost. Fine. So these are the uh, kingpin flanges, whatever you want to call them. And these, we're going to get flanges made to bolt onto a five ton housing. And there's where our steering is and everything. Kingpins are just, I mean, massive. I mean, look at that shit. But, um,. Yeah, show you guys some axles and stuff here. We haven't been out here in a little while, but. So those are our big hubs. That is the home to the planetary gears, which you've seen. So our kingpins right here. And there's our axle shafts, which I'm going to clean up here soon. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, everything's in such great condition. I can't complain. The old spider gears that we don't need anymore. Um old steering which i am going to save so i can get that measurement off there um one thing that is cool about steering on these planetaries so i don't see a lot of guys doing it i don't know why so i can do see this they have two knuckles on each side so i can do my steering rams on this side and put a straight bar on the back really helps with alignment and things like that so we're taking these home tonight and we're gonna Get them sandblasted and painted, you know. Well guys, we just got back from a Crystal River, River trip, uh, Wild One Customs, and I think we've got all the, uh, the Himes. <laughs> I 
new orbital and we got two of the 10 inch rams i think we're getting we're getting close now and i got wheel shells sitting on the trailer i'll show you in the morning but man a lot of stuff right here good stuff good stuff instead of waiting to go buy flanges i made them so yeah when we cut our axles somewhere right around here this is what the flange spindle assembly of the ps250 bolts onto so what i did and you can judge me all you want uh this is two half inch plates that i cut on the plasma table welded them together and then sanded the weld off to make it look like a nice one inch plate um i did a cut out here so i can match the housing up so it helps us a lot more for fitment when we go to weld because these have to be very very precise if you want your axles to line up nicely and then we cut out the center hole here for the flange that goes through and there's a nice o-ring that meets right with this hopefully we'll keep our fluids in there'll be rtv all over this grinding wheels kind of are done on me i don't have any more but this one came out very nice still gonna edge this a little bit better oh, hey, man. there he is oh, right in the vlog he gets to see him Just telling the people johnny how they're coming and Looks like you'd buy them, right? From a from a CNC factory, right? I mean, the fucking Krabby Patty. The Krabby Patty, man. All right, we'll check back in. Hell yeah. So Johnny showed up and he's got surgery tomorrow for I think that finger right there. It's broke, it snapped, but he's out here working. Trying to get these smooth. So a lot of guys, when they do hybrids, they get custom milled CNC uh, cover plates. Um, that will go over these, but I kind of like using the factory one and I'm going to have the logo of the original axle and I'm going to paint this and that's going to be a color combo if I haven't announced it yet. It's Halloween orange and black because it's a nocturnal truck, so you got to be like Halloween. I'm so hyped that about these flanges. I don't care what anyone says. I made them myself. I don't need anybody to help me.